there's a likelihood that this team who had started 11 and 0 is going to finish the season 0 and 6. Like, what? 11 and 0 to 0 and 6? Like, I've got to talk to a smart guy to see if that's ever happened before. I think that's I like that one a lot. Um, my my uh, one well, of my first things, my takeaways from last weekend was, and this is a discussion. And this is this, by the way, this this panel, this whatever we want to call this. This is not. We're not going to come on here and bash dudes. Um, and mm -hmm. uh, really, I don't. We don't even really bash dudes when it's just us talking, anyways. Um, but uh, but it is a question: Is Ben is Ben getting worse or just playing Big Ben? This is not a knock on him. I think Ben is one of the all-time greatest quarterbacks to ever play the game. Um, it, plus, go back to, like, he's from Miami of Ohio. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's not some blue chipper dude who was a baller from day one. Like, this guy totally made himself. This is awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, first ballot Hall of Famer, two-time Super Bowl or Super Bowl champion, MVP, whatever, all this stuff, right? Um, and But I can't help but, like, last year when he's hurt, their defense is awesome. They have, like, all these random dudes playing quarterback for them. And then this year, it's like, geez, they're, like, just a quarterback away. And they're 11-0. and 0. But let me paint you a picture really quick. They're 11-0. and 0. They get their first loss to you guys, okay? Mm -hmm. So, and I heard Mike Tomlin, his quote after the game was, it was somewhat a, you know, we got to play better, but it was somewhat of a relief. This idea that, like, there's so much pressure on having the perfect season, which is not the goal. The goal is to win the Super Bowl. And right. That, you know, goals win Super Bowl, not be not go undefeated. So getting mm -hmm. that first loss, he said that was relieving. Then they lost to Buffalo on Sunday Night Football, which I think that was expected. I don't know. I think Buffalo is a lot better than them, and so they get I agree. hammered by them. And mm -hmm. but then they lose on Monday Night Football this week to Cincinnati Bengals with a third string quarterback and a backup running back and a whole bunch of other dudes who wouldn't start on other teams. This is the second or third worst team in the NFL. Okay. And that game wasn't close. I watched that game. That was not that game was never under control for Pittsburgh. Okay. They got to play Indy this week. And if they lose, which I think is highly likely, Indy is awesome. Then they got to go to Cleveland in week 17. Winner wins the AFC North. They could either have the fourth seed or the seventh. They they have clinched a playoff spot, though. So here's the deal. Then they would go and if they go the seventh seed and things continue. They would go, go from with, four to seven? Yes. And they would probably play the Bills at Buffalo round one. Yeah, exactly. Two seed. Yeah. So there's a likelihood that this team who had started eleven and zero is gonna finish the season 0 and six. Like, what? 11 and 0 to 0 and 6. Like I've got to talk to a smart guy to see if that's ever happened before. I think that's by the way, I think I think that's the most likely scenario. Yeah. What's the remaining schedule? They got Indy? this week and then the Browns next week. Yeah, Indiana Browns. Cleveland. Yeah. Cleveland oh. is hot right now. Hot. The number two rushing offense in the league. They get after the quarterback. Anyways, so here's my deal. Is Ben because the the they've had he's had a ton of drops this year and they've had no run game and you can just disperse all the blame everywhere. But I watched that game versus Cincinnati and I saw him miss. I saw him throw the over out when the post is coming open early. Mm -hmm. Came off of it. That's a total momentum shifter. Sixty five yarder to Chase Claypool. Boom! It's we're back in it. Let's get back on track here, fellas. And and so I, I go, I can't tell. Like, is he is he just playing poorly? Everybody plays poorly at times, or you know, is this is this heading in this direction? And um, so what I want to throw to you is I, I, you're a current NFL quarterback. I don't want to get your opinion on another quarterback. But what I would say this is he's coming off of an elbow injury. Have you ever had an injury or you have hear about injuries where the physical injury affects guys mentally? Because I'm seeing Ben play worse than I've ever seen him play. And I don't – and he's, he's too good to play that way. So is his – could his arm – and I, I'm not asking who is his arm doing this, but, like, have you seen guys where, like, this guy's knee all of a sudden made him, like, affected him this way. So this is my thoughts on Ben this year. Because if you look back to last year, their defense is exactly the same as last year, right? Best defense in the league. And last year they 
were what eight and eight, nine and seven, missed the playoffs, right? Mm-hmm. With Mason Rudolph and Devlin Hodges at quarterback, right? Obviously, able quarterbacks, good quarterbacks, solid. Mason could be good. Devlin could be a good quarterback. We haven't seen enough of each of them, but good quarterbacks. And then Ben comes in this year, and it's undeniable that they were one of the best offenses to start the year, right? He had great stats to start the year, no matter how, like, dink and dunk their offense was. But he was throwing the ball deep to Chase Claypool. He was throwing the ball deep to 18. Juju was making plays. And so I think that he changed his style of play. His style of play is completely different than year, this year than it ever has been. You've seen that. They've highlighted that every primetime game they have, they've highlighted how fast he's been getting the ball out, right? His, his catch to throw from the snap is like a second faster than any year in his career. But it was working, right? It was working really well. And I think that it's, I don't think it's been, I think that teams have started to figure it out. Mm. And I think that all these screens and stuff, and they had a bunch of drops over the past couple of weeks. Um, Deontay's been struggling. I know Ebron's been struggling a little bit, but I think that teams have just started to figure out that type of offense. And that, that wasn't their offense before. It was AB. It was pushing the ball down the field. It was him sitting in the pocket, him running around, shedding guys in the pocket, throwing the ball deep. That was never their offense. This is a new, totally new Steelers offense. And I think it, it caught a lot of people off guard to start the year. But I think it's, it's started to get figured out. I think teams are starting to not be afraid of their receivers. I think their receivers are good receivers. But I don't think anyone is afraid of them taking the top off on them. You know, I think Chase has done it a couple of times. I know Juju is capable of doing it, but I don't think people are playing them scared anymore because they they know the game plan. They know it's get the ball quick, screens, think and dunk, be great on third down, and be great in the red zone. And that's a good brand of football, but that is a tough, sustainable brand of football because you got to be good on third down every week. You got to be good on red zone every single week, or else you're going to have a ton of three and outs. And that's what happened on that Monday night game is they had a ton of three and outs. Yeah. What? So one of the questions that I saw in here is um, people asking like, when you're when when you're getting older, like when age, um, most specifically, um, like how what kind of impact? What ways does age impact you? Because we're seeing some guys, you know, I've seen Drew Brees the last two seasons, three or last three seasons, not this year, last three seasons in a row, like broke his own completion percentage record, mm-hmm. like in the league, led the league, and you know playing at the top. Brady was playing great. Last year, it was just nothing around him. And this year, it's, I don't know what it is, but um, we're seeing guys play well at the end. We're seeing some guys struggle at the end. I think Philip Rivers is playing some good ball. So, like, how do you think age affects you at the end? It's tough for me to say. That's probably a better question for you, but I don't know. I think people handle it differently. I think it just depends on the style of football you play. You know, I think as running quarterbacks, people who stand in and take more hits, it's tougher them to play later in the game later in their years. I think Drew Brees has always been a guy who gets the ball quick and he's just progressively gotten out quicker. And you see this year, he's been checking the ball down like crazy and throwing it deep when he needs to, but it works, you know? Yeah. And so I think it's just kind of the style of football you play. And some people have a more longevity style of football that's going to work for more years. Yeah. I think uh, the key to playing long is being able to um, – change your game and adapt. I don't even want to say adapt yeah. because adapt means that you're like changing to fit in with what's happening. I actually think the older guys, it's not about adapting. It's like, you're the change. Like, Hey, here's mm-hmm. how we're doing it now. Yeah. Um, and so, I mean, that, that offense you're talking about that get rid of it quick. I mean, they were 11 and oh, like, I don't care who they played mm-hmm. 11 straight wins. Exactly. Dude, it's hard to win three in a row. <laughs> yeah. And so um, like that worked and drops if you're not going to run the ball and the and the quick game passing is going to be an extension of the run game, you cannot have nope. drop. You cannot have drop. That's mm-hmm. like having a two yard loss on a run play on first down, second and twelve. Nope. You can't do that every other series. Um, so I think the age uh, the age question it really is is you get older and you lose something. Well, let's call it mobility. Okay, you have to offset that. You have to have something. If you have a deficiency, you have to offset it. So if you're short, if you're 5'10", you need to be something else instead of that. You need to be 5'10", but really fast or really Kyler smart. Murray. Kyler mm-hmm. Murray. And so awesome. Drew Brees, really, really smart, really mm-hmm. good with progressions, really, you know, Drew Brees a bunch is, is, is a bunch of extra things, right, which is why he's one of the all-time greats. So 
you have to be able to offset it. And so I think these older guys, the really self-aware, smart, conscientious guys, and the guy that I'm excited to watch as he gets older, I personally think Brady is going to play, or not Brady, Rodgers is going to play like five, six, seven more years. 